and Tina from Woolly Mammoth Stitchworks. Really excited now because we're going to reveal the artwork to Pam and Janet from St Lawrence Church and then you'll see it the very first time. So, are we ready? Ready Tina? Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it lovely the way people have really stitched themselves into their bricks? Really, yeah. Yeah. really, really have. Really creative. It's quite been quite emotional actually stitching a few of them together because there's some really heartfelt messages on quite a lot of the different canvases. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? And given that everybody had to design their own, yeah, yeah, amazing. it's fabulous. People seem to be really proud of Northfield, don't they, and the area around it. And I think we've discovered a lot which is so good about Northfield um, in this, and it's just brought it to our attention, and so often you take your surroundings for well, granted. Well, you do, you do. People can have a look at the online magazine, yeah. they'll be able to look at the brick and then find out what the inspiration was behind That's it, amazing. as well as the name of the stitch roof they provided. That's it. amazing. Hello, everybody, here we are at the unveiling of Home is Where the Arch is, and it's absolutely fabulous. I just didn't know how this was going to work, and particularly in lockdown because originally we've been planning some workshops where people could come together and stitch together. But everybody's taken it on board, done it at home, designed it themselves, got it back, and it is a truly awesome project. And I'm really grateful to Suze and Tina of Woolly Mama Stitchworks who've had to really reinvent the project <laughs> as they've gone along. And haven't they done a fabulous job? I'm going to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Well, I think we'd like to say, give a round of applause to all the stitchers yeah. you know, and say thank you. Wow, this is amazing. And I hope you're really proud of, of contributing to this community arch, which is now the Northfield. So we have a new arch 850 years later. After the first one. After the first one at St Lawrence's Church. Yeah, and what I, what I found is by putting it all together, um, how much people absolutely love Northfield and how heartfelt people's uh, memories and also about how they want to see Northfield continue in the future are. So thank you very much. It's really revealed Northfield to us, hasn't it? Because we've yeah. all discovered new places yeah. or looked at them in new ways mm. and the original arch in the church at the outside so you can come and see it any time of day or night, bring a torch at night. But eventually this is going to be in church and also go on tour a bit round Northfield. Yep. And it may be that if you're getting married at St. Lawrence Church, <laughs> and it's in the church, you can have your photos under it as well. The opportunities are endless. Yeah. Our virtual celebration event today wouldn't be complete without a look through the magazine that we created as part of the project. As you will see, all 190 tapestry bricks have been photographed and featured in this booklet.
As part of the project, we asked people to write to a future resident and say what life was like in 2020 living in Northfield. What a fantastic community archive for future residents to look back on. You'll be able to find this booklet on our website, which is www.woollymammothstitch.works. And we really hope you enjoy looking through it, finding your brick if you stitch one, and discovering what life is like in 2020 for people within your community. On behalf of the whole Norfield Reveal team, uh, thanks ever so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it. Please put comments in the chat and hopefully meet you in 2021 in person.